everyone! In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to have a blast on Valentine's Day. Whether you are with a group of girlfriends, your best friend, your boyfriend, I think having a gamer night in is one of the most fun things you can do. Get some special drinks, some energy drinks, some snacks, and I have board games and video games that I'm going to recommend to you that I find are super fun. Personally, I don't like the shoot 'em up games. I don't like anything that's too brutal. I like staying in the kitchen zone. So if you are like me, you are definitely going to love these games that I'm suggesting today. And I just want you to have a blast. You can do this on Valentine's Day. You can do this any time of year. You can do it for your boyfriend's birthday and surprise him by having a gamer night in. I just think that it is so much fun. You could do this every Saturday if you want to do. For me, that's what I would choose to do. Having a gamer night in is one of my absolute favorite things to do, especially when it comes to playing with these games and snacking on some pretty spectacular things. If you like what you see here in today's video, please be sure to tap that red button down below to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. And if you really like what's going on here and if you've been with me for a while, click that bell so that you get notifications when I post all of my future videos. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Let's jump right into the video. So if you have an Xbox One, I'm going to share with you my absolute favorite game for it. Now the games that I have picked out that are video games are all co-op, which means that you can play with the person sitting next to you. You don't have to have a separate system. They don't have to log into their own separate account. This is really simple. You put the disc in, you turn it on, you play, and it's simple as that. So I love Ghostbusters. I think that this is such a simple, fun game. It's one of those games where you don't have to stress out about doing like combo attacks or figuring out different complicated things. This is something that you can just sit down, have fun, you're co-op playing, cooperating, co-op playing? This is a game where you are playing side by side next to each other. You're not playing against each other. So I think that this is a really great bonding game as well. So this is really great for romantic relationships. So you don't end up in a fight at the end of the night. It's happened believe me. So this is an absolute favorite of mine and it's really super simple. So if you're looking for a great game to play, if you are brother and sister, boyfriend, girlfriend, just hanging out with your best girlfriend, this is the perfect game to play. I absolutely love it. You have four different choices of characters to play. There are two girls and two guys, so you can choose your own little personality too. And the controls are super simple. So if you like Ghostbusters and you have an Xbox One, this is clearly the game for you. Now moving on to the Wii U. The Wii has been my absolute favorite ever since it came out several years ago now, but since they came out with the Wii U, it's created a whole new experience to play with the games. So, of course, a classic, you can never go wrong with Mario Party. The mini games in this are super fun and there is a Bowser Party mode, so you're playing against the big fat enemy and then there's a classic Mario Party mode. So this is really fun too because you can also, I believe, put your Miis in here, I think? I don't know, I could be making that up. But for me, I'm always Princess Peach. It's just, she's my girl. Blonde with pink dress. Can't go wrong with that. So Mario Party is just so much fun because again, you are playing with each other instead of against each other, which is always a positive thing for any kind of relationship. And Mario Party is super simple. You just go through it. They tell you exactly how to play it. So if you are a novice when it comes to video games, this is a great one to begin with. And what's really fun at the Wii U is that each player has their own controller that they're playing with. And then the screen, What's that thing called? It's like the, the big main black thing that comes <laughs> with the console. It's good I'm so educated on this. But you put it right down in the middle and so everybody can keep referring back to that screen to see other things that are going on. There may or may not be a trapped toad that you need to free. So it's kind of fun to see that and to interact with that as well as you're playing the game. For me, the mini games are my absolute favorite part of any Mario Party because it shows off your skills if you can define them as such. And I get a little over competitive when it comes to games and I have victory dance. 
it's cool. It's pretty. So if you're a fan of Mario, you are definitely going to be a big fan of Mario Party 10. So when the Nintendo GameCube was like the big thing, I played Animal Crossing on that thing almost every single day. And if you don't know what Animal Crossing is, you are a little human character that moves into a town filled with little animals and they become your neighbors and your friends. And you go around and you try to pay off your mortgage and you fish and you make money and you buy clothing. It's just a simple little role playing game, but it's super adorable and it teaches you some really great life lessons as well. So if you're a mama and you're looking for some good games for your children, Animal Crossing is a blast, but it also teaches some really great life skills. But since the Wii U has come about, they created something called Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. So now they've taken that one player game and turned it into... I think it's, yeah, one to four players. So you can play this by yourself, but this is also something that you can play with two people, three people, four people. There's not a defined amount of players for this, but it does stop at four. This has to be my number one favorite game for the Wii U. What's really fun is that they drop you onto this game board and you get to visit your own village that it looks pretty much just like the one that you live in in your other normal Animal Crossing game. And once you've played this a couple of times, you can earn enough points to start building different structures in your game board. So you can really customize it. And I first thing put in an Able Sisters because that is the clothing shop. So naturally a boutique has to go on the game board first, but you can also put in Tom Nook's shop, a Nookington's. Oh, I just think it's so much fun and it's also super simple. And what's really fun is that you get to play with these amiibo characters too. So there's an NFC point on the black console that is handheld and you float this on top to roll the dice and then you put him down but it's fun that you actually get to play with the characters instead of just setting them up there and going yeah that's cute. You actually get to play with the characters and you can buy more at Target. So this is like an everlasting kind of game. So they're going to continue to come out with more and more characters. And every time I go into Target on a grocery run, I pop over to the magazines and the Animal Crossing characters because there's always somebody new over there. I just recently picked up Cap'n. He is one of my absolute favorites. He's the flirty bus driver. She sounds a little weird, but he's really cute. You should check out this character because you will really like him. And I just think that this game is an absolute blast. So if you are looking for something that is completely family friendly, really simple, but really fun, this is it. If you have a bigger group of people that are coming over and you want to play a board game, this one is an absolute blast. This is Last Word, and this gets competitive really, really fast because you have to act fast and come up with words like crazy. So what this does, you have a subject and you place down, okay, let me start over. So you have a letter and you flip it over and it's P, let's say. I'm just gonna walk you through the back. And then there's this little section right here, that's your category, and this says snack foods. So you have to come up with as many words that are snack foods that start with the letter P. So you have to set it down, press the buzzer, and then start listing off as many as you can to beat the other players so that they can't come up with any snack foods that also begin with P and you win the round. Now this is very simple and very fun and it's great when the concept of a game is so super simple that everybody can pick it up, but it does get a little rowdy. And I know it doesn't sound like it would, and my definition of rowdy is probably different from yours, but it can get, it's a very fast paced game, so you just have to get it going really fast, and that gets a lot of people worked up and very competitive. I wouldn't know from experience but this is an absolute favorite of mine. It's actually pretty new and I've only played it a couple of times, but let me tell you, it is an absolute blast. You are going to have so much fun playing this game and this just says two plus players. So you can play it with, I think, as many players as possible that can fit around in a big circle and I think that that would be even more fun. I've only played it with a total of three people and that was a blast. So if you have a small group, big group, this is gonna be a a really fun game for you guys to play. Now, if you're planning a game night for just you and your best friend or for you and your boyfriend, I would suggest this, Super Mario Chess. I know you're probably wondering, chess? 
why would I want to play that? Because it's a blast. And these cute little characters, as you can see, are your pawns, your rooks, your king and queen. I just think that this is super fun. One side are all of the heroes, one side are all of the villains, and I just think it's really fun. My dad and I actually played this back in December, and it was more fun than we thought we were going to have. Now I know there is some very specific rules when it comes to chess, and that it is a pretty logic-based game, but I think that it's a fun challenge. So if you are up to doing something that takes a little bit more thought up here, here but you still want to have fun with these different characters this one I think is actually a really fun time so those are all of my game suggestions but I do want to suggest something that would be really fun snacks and drinks they have some very specific drinks that are Mario themed or video game related and I think that those would be really fun to invest in and I know that Mountain Dew is big with the gamer community but if you have all girls coming over Diet Mountain Dew might be the answer. I know for me, I just want all of the caffeine and none of the sugar, so that is always the way I go. And you can also get this really great snack mix. If you have a Harry and David close to you, they have a Super Party mix that is so, so good, and it goes along with the Super Mario kind of theme. So just go out and pick up snacks. I know they have fruit snacks that are also Nintendo related. So just go out, shop Target, go up and down every single aisle and go check out everything that you can find that is video game related at all. And also for 97 cents at my Target, I got some really fun cups. So I know like wine glasses, you really want to make sure you mark your name on it so you know exactly which glass is yours, but you also wanna do it when you are overly protective of your snack mix like someone I know. So I got four different cups and I got them for every kind of girl, the girl who loves princesses, the girl or guy who likes Star Wars, and this one I made sure to get because he's quite handsome. And then I got, of course, the Super Mario Cup, and then finishing it off with Hello Kitty. And I know I said I got a cup for every kind of girl, but really these are all things that I love as well. So it's just a fun little thing to do to make it more of a party and more of an event. And if you are just going full out for Valentine's Day, get some balloons, go decorate, do the whole snack, drink, decoration thing. It makes it so much more fun and so much more of an event. So if you have game suggestions that you think that I would like, please be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. I would love to know some other games that I definitely need to check out. And if you liked what you saw here in today's video, please click right on over there to subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to see other videos by me, I have one linked right there and my video collections linked down below along with all of the games that I listed here in today's video. All right, my darlings, I love you all dearly and I will see you next time in my new video. And remember, be kind, be smart, and be glamorous.